What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today, we're going to take a look at this bench seat cover from Aries Automotive. Now, it's a universal bench seat cover, so it's not going to fit really tight to your seats or be like a second skin to your seats. It's actually made to be taken off easily, cleaned, and thrown on there when you need it. So that's good because, you know, when you have those custom seat covers, they fit really tight. You have to tie back here underneath the seat through your hands and make sure because you don't want it coming off pretty much ever. So it's kind of a commitment to have one of those. This one's perfect. Take it off when you don't need it. Throw it on when you do. I did say universal, but I didn't mean it as a bad thing. This thing isn't just some tarp that's thrown over the back seat. It's got nice rubber grip here at the bottom to keep it from moving around, which I think is really handy. It, it really does keep it in place. You don't have to worry about it. Here, I'll hop up in there and kind of move around. You can see it's not falling off the back of this or scooting around here and getting uneven and going from one side to side. I'll keep moving around while I'm doing this. I'm trying to scoot it out. It's not going anywhere. The top of your bench seat is protected as well. You got this hook and loop strip that goes all the way down. And how you install it, you separate that, set the cover over the headrest, and then just come back through. Make sure you go underneath and reattach the hook and loop. That way it gives you coverage underneath your headrest, around your headrest, and then it even has this included headrest cover. Still got the rubber grip in there and everything that goes around here, giving you protection here. Speaking of hook and loop fasteners, we have some down here that if you need to get to the seat belt, you can. Now you might not need that if you have pets back here, you're just throwing dirty cargo, you can just set that down there, that way no dirt gets through there. But if you have two passengers that are using this and they're dirty or something and you want to protect your seats, you can still use this. While we're here, I want to talk about the material of the cover itself though. I know you guys can't feel the texture, but it feels real tough. So like if your pets are up here jumping around, your, their nails aren't going to rip it or get into it or cause any issues. And if they have any accidents, pour some water. You can see it just beads up and rolls away. So it keeps that water contained really well. Just get a cloth here. And you can't even tell anything was spilled. Like I said, this is meant to be taken off, cleaned, and thrown back on. So how about I take it off here and show you how to install it. Your cover is going to come in three parts. You got the headrest, then the hook and loop part that goes on top here that covers the top of the bench seat, and then we have the part that covers the rest of the seat. We're going to start with the headrest because that's the easiest way to get it installed. So we'll just go ahead and take it rubber side down and wrap it around your headrest. Ours is a little small so it doesn't fit as tight as it would if it was a little bit bigger, but it's okay, it's universal, it'll still fit. Try and attach the hook and loop as tight back there as we can on both sides. And we can kind of push the slack around to the back of the headrest. And get on there. With the headrest installed, now we have the portion that covers most of the seat and the part that goes on top of the bench. We're gonna go with the part that goes on top of the bench now. We're going to drape this part along the top here, kind of put it back there, make sure the hook and loop part is towards the front of the vehicle because this is what's going to attach to the part that covers the rest of the seat. We'll get that set up and we'll clean this up once I get the seat cover in. Now when you go to set down the cover on the rest of the seat, Make sure the hook and loop fastener goes to the top because you're going to attach it to the part we just draped over the top and make sure the logo for Aries is here at the bottom. That's a good way of indicating which way it should go. So we're just going to go ahead and spread it across the seats here. At the top, we're gonna go ahead and start attaching the hook and loop fasteners. Even if we gotta pop up our headrest a little bit and bring some of it through. Really on the difficulty scale, the headrest is probably the hardest part of this. And that's not even that hard. It's just the lock where it is all. Now a tip while you're installing is I went ahead and bunched up the cover up here so you, when you came to kneel down it didn't pull it right back down. 
Now we can go ahead and pull that back out. Open these hook and loop fasteners. Let's go ahead and line up where the seat belts come out here. And we'll try and tuck it up in there around it. And that's it, really. With that, you're done. That does it for our look at the Aries bench seat protector. If you're interested to see what goes into making these videos, stick around and watch the meeting with our riders. Yeah, I was just, uh, I just wanted to kind of see this one because I know that I did the, uh, the detailed for our branded uh, seat cover. Um, I know it's more of a uh, bucket seat, but I know this is more of a universal type cover too. So I, I was hoping you maybe you could uh, talk me through what you think about the material, if it's heavy duty, um, yeah. and, if it, and how soft it is too, if you could speak to that. Okay, cool. You did the e-trailer universal seat cover too? Yeah, so I just, uh, I don't know, probably about a month or two ago, I did that bucket seat cover for our branded uh, bucket seat cover. And I know with that one, we discussed a lot about how soft it was, um, how it didn't move. Um, obviously, that has a strap that goes around the seat to hold it in place, whereas this one, you just kind of drape it and kind of form it to the seat. So that's why I was hoping with this one, I could kind of just see um, how loose it is, you know, how well it stays tucked in, getting in and out. And then, uh, you know, if you could possibly talk about the fabric material itself and what it yeah. feels like as well yeah i bought one each other one so i use that one in my car all the freaking time I, I really like that one yeah it's it's pretty nice i know it's definitely soft compared to most uh universal covers yeah this one's this one's rougher than that this one's got more of a texture than the each other one but it's also got the rubber underneath here that grips the seat so it doesn't shift at all okay. when i'm jumping around on it we actually did in the video i screwed it from one side and the other here i can do it here i can try and move it but it sure doesn't move much and I'm trying. So I, I guess you're in a crew cab. It looks like a crew cab uh, pickup. Um, does the seat cover cover the whole seat? Like around, does it wrap around the sides and over the top of the back? Or is it just kind of over to the side and it stops? Uh, it goes all the way over the top. There's definitely extra up here at the top of the bench. Okay. You can see the whole flap here. Funny around. Uh, it doesn't look like it comes down to the sides, though. Okay. As you can see, you got exposed seats here and here. Gotcha. I guess where that uh, both parts of the seat, the bottom part and the top part of the seat uh, match, you could probably shove that cover down in there. Um, if you do that, do you have enough to cover that front lip of the bottom seat, um, like where it's not riding up on the seat portion itself? You're talking about lifting up here and kind of pushing right, it Right, yeah. I didn't know how much of a tongue it would have hanging over the seat. I was hoping, you know, you could kind of push it in there to hold it in place and... Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's what I was curious about seeing was how much slack you had. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, again, the rubber grips, I guess, kind of fight against me. It doesn't want to move anywhere. Right. How about the, uh, maybe you could talk about this a little bit. How about the uh, the headrest covers? They look like they're uh, they're pretty big for the cover, or the actual headrest itself. Like it'll pretty much fit any yeah. headrest, I guess. Oh, yeah. I think it's actually too big for this headrest itself. Mm -hmm. It's not on there really tight. I mean, it's not going anywhere, but you can see how much extra space you have. I was kind of curious about the color too, but it looks like it actually matches the interior pretty well as far as the uh, like matching to the vehicle interior. Yeah, this is the gray one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the black one and a camel one. If I'm, is there a tan one too? Uh, I don't. I believe the tan one was a slightly different version. Okay. Pretty good size too. I was kind of curious about it because oh, you can't really tell on the photos we have right now because they're pretty much stock photos. But from the looks of it, it looks like the overall size of this cover is pretty big. So I, I kind of like that. It's hard to guess. It's kind of in like a white void of like, well, what does that look like on my seat? I don't know how big that is, or you know, there's nothing to compare it to. Right. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's that's all I really wanted. I haven't had a chance to see these yet, so I definitely appreciate you taking the time to, uh, to show me talk about it. Um, I guess if you guys have anything or need anything from me, let me know. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, have a good one. All right. Bye.